than few seconds, ma sa setup na agad natin tong tripod. Diba? This is Zorya Content Creator and right now I will be reviewing the pick design at this very scenic location somewhere in Mindanao. Wow. Disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Big Designs. If you're someone like me who travel a lot alone and mahilig mag-take ng photos like landscape photography, night shots, long exposure shots, waterfall shots, this will be your travel companion. Especially that when you're traveling, we need to carry a lightweight, portable, and yung mabilis set up na tripod. Ang Peak Design is meron siyang dalawang version, yung carbon and aluminum tripod. Si aluminum weighs 1.57 kilos while si carbon weighs 1.29 kilos. Ang mga da dito is si Peak Design is dinesign nila itong tripod like a water bottle that you can easily put it inside your bag. So yung mga ibang tripod, napakahirap niya ilagay sa bag but with this tripod, it's gonna be easier na tanggalin like a water bottle at kayang-kaya niya mag-fit into a bag. And like other tripod, ito napakadali lang niyang tanggalin dahil with of your four fingers, masaset up mo na agad yung tripod natin. And napaka-stable niya kahit anong galaw mo is hindi agad siya matutumba. Let's try to use this right now. Okay, but gusto ko dito is napaka-taas niya compared sa mga other tripod. And yun, if tatanggalin natin siya, we just have to to press this button. Meron siyang unlock feature dito where you can just lock it if you want para mas secure yung ating mount. There's also option if you want to lock the ball head para mas secure siya. So yan, ngayon is nakalock na yung ball head natin. So ito, um, if you're gonna mount your tripod here, kaya kailanganin mo ng allen. But thankfully, it comes with the allen. Nakalagay lang siya dito. Yan mas secure siya kapag meron tayong allen. Para mabalik natin to ilalagay lang ulit natin siya dito. Kaya nabalik na natin siya and good. Para malagay ko dito yung camera, lagay ko lang siya dito. Pwede ko na siyang i-lock. Yan, meron siyang lock option. Tinis ko to is super secure niya. Para makapag-shoot tayo ng portrait, kailangan natin to i-unlock. Pwede na tayo mag-shoot ng portrait photography. Yan, try ko ngayon mag-take na. Better than if mag-take ka ng picture, dapat nakalock na tong ball head mo para mas secure tayo. O oh, yan. Mas ma-enhance natin siya sa full light room. And isa pa sa mga nagustuhan ko dito is meron siyang lalagyan dito ng bag. So mag-try tayo maglagay ng bag. I-secure ko lang muna tong camera ko as portrait mode. As landscape mode. As you can see, kahit galaw-galawin ko siya, ang stable niya compared sa mga ibang tripod na konting galaw lang is bibigay na. Ito, is hindi talaga siya agad bumibigay. So, pwede pa natin itong itaas hanggang pinakamataas. Like this one. Tapos, ang stable talaga niya, kahit anong sakuna, hindi siya bibigay. Wow! Itong nandito sa baba na pwede mo lagyan ng bag is meron ka ring option gamitin siya for mobile photography. Yun yung other option nito. And kaya natin siya i-bend as low as possible. So mas maganda siyang gamitin sa mga landscape photography especially if you want to get a different kind of angle. And right now, ito challenge ko yung sarili kong mag-take ng landscape photography using this fake design tripod. Kapit ko ngayon tong ND32 and we're gonna take some landscape photography. Unfortunately, walang sunset ngayon pero laban na to. Ang purpose sa ND filter is it darkens the scenario especially na maliwanag masyado in order na mababa mo yung shutter speed kakailanganin mo nito. So, gagawin natin siya ngayon para mas maintindihan nyo. Ginagamit ko madalas yung ND filter para makapag-take tayo ng mga long exposure like this one and para rin sa mga false photography. Pwede pa natin siya ma-twist something like this one. Alas. Itong shutter speed, like, baba pa natin siya until mga 
0.5 tapos yung IS will make it as low as much as possible aperture is make it high as much as possible like mga 5.0 babahin ko pa tong shutter speed pwede naman i-zoom kasi 28mm yung tripod natin at kukunin ko lang din yung alor yan naklik ko na agad tasan ko pa ng konti tong aperture natin para mas makita yung mga clouds natin tapos babaan ko tong yan tansya tansya na lang din and here I'm my sample shot yan Actually, nandun yung sunset sa kabila. Hanap muna tayo ng angle. Oh, pa. Ganda ng shot. Try pa natin. Oh, nababasa. <laughs> Piling ko kahit. That's how you make it. Maganda sana kung may sunset ngayon, pero wala tayong sunset. Here right now, you can see the city of waterfalls. And right now, we're gonna take some landscape photography using the pig design. Kaya, dudulungan niya akong kumuha ng landscape photography. Kapag nakita mo na yung output, sobrang full feeling na niya. The tripod has 9 kilo max capacity. At yung ano nga lang niya, yung dilemma lang niya is this tripod is made for photography. Kaya yung mga videographers like me, if you're gonna use it for events, you will be needing a different tool with head for this one. But thankfully, meron naman yung offer yung pick design. So yun nga, dahil napaka-compact niya, kaya ko siyang ilagay pati sa bike ko. So, ginagamit ko lang yung ball strap and then I can easily put it in my bag. bike. I actually prefer the aluminum version because of its price. The carbon one is actually twice the price of the aluminum. So, I'm actually good with the aluminum even if it weighs more than 300 grams than the carbon. Um, siguro isa lang sa mga hindi ko nagustuhan dito sa tripod na to is yung ano natin, yung mount natin na kakailanganin ko pa ng allen in order to mount our tripod. So, siguro in the future, if they're gonna put a mount na hindi mo na kailangan ng allen, I think it's gonna be better. But overall, I really like this tripod and I will definitely use it for all my travel adventures, especially for landscape photography. So, nagtatapos ang review ko for Pick Design Tripod and thank you for watching this video. I hope you'll learn something to me. Once again, this is Zara Big Wonder and the content creator and see you on my next video. Bye!